Well, pressure is a privilege, uh, is the first point that I would make about that. But this budget is all about putting downward pressure on inflation, not upward pressure on inflation. Uh, and you'll see that in the inflation forecast that you've had a look at in the course of the last couple of days. Uh, this budget will be part of the solution when it comes to inflation, not part uh, of the problem. Uh, the future trajectory of interest rates is decided independently uh, by the Reserve Bank uh, and its board. Uh, the budget has a role to play in fighting inflation, but it's not the only determinant of that future trajectory. For people on the lowest incomes, uh, pensioners, people on uh, unemployment payments, for instance, they won't get much help out of the tax cuts. Um, will there be any extension of those payments, any one-off payments, for instance, for people on those sort of um, incomes? Yeah, I say to people who are doing it tough and to the most vulnerable people in our community that help is on the way in the budget. Uh, the tax cuts are the biggest part of the cost of living relief in the budget, but not the only part of the cost of living relief in the budget. You know, our big priority here is to put the people front and centre. We know that people are doing it tough and that's why more help is on the way tonight. Is it time for Labor to roll out the back-to-back -back in black mugs? <laughs> Uh, well, I roll a bit differently to my predecessor. I uh, try and spend a bit more time on the actual uh, budget and explaining it to people rather than uh, flogging uh, back in black mugs. Uh, I think that that, frankly, has been humiliating for the Liberals and Nationals. Uh, I take a pretty conservative and pretty cautious uh, approach to these kinds of things. Uh, but if uh, in the event that we get this second surplus, and we are forecasting it, we are expecting it, uh, that would be the first time that that has happened back to back. Uh, in almost uh, two decades. That's not an end in itself. Uh, it's not necessarily a cause for celebration. It's a demonstration we've been able to get the budget in much better, Nick, and not at the expense of helping people or investing in the future, but in addition to helping people and investing in the future. We'll go to Ron, and then we'll go Dom, and then we'll go here. Using cost of living subsidies to lower headline inflation was labelled a political trick by Warwick McKibben. Uh, it doesn't address underlying inflation pressures. What's your response to that? Well, opinions are pretty thick on the ground at this time of year, uh, and my job is not to uh, make opinions. My job is to uh, make a difference uh, and to make it all add up. Uh, I'm obviously conscious that there are a range of views uh, about budgets. That's as it should be. Uh, you read those in the papers from, from time to time. Uh, our view and our advice uh, is that the combination of cost of living relief that we are providing in this budget uh, will put downward pressure on inflation uh, and not add to broader inflationary pressures uh, in the economy. Uh, I acknowledge that Warwick has a different view. I don't agree with it. Treasurer, what about uh, further tax relief such as Lomito? I can't hear you. Sorry, Dom. Further tax relief such as Lomito, would that also help inflation while helping people in the lowest incomes? Oh, we found a more effective way to help people who are doing it tough. Uh, the Lomito was uh, legislated to end by my predecessor and it ran out on the schedule that he determined. Uh, in his last budget, uh, we have found more effective ways to give a tax cut to every taxpayer, an average tax cut of $36 a week, in addition to uh, other cost of living help in this budget, uh, which will help people make ends meet. What's in this budget for Northern New South Wales? Well, what you'll see in the budget uh, is a really enthusiastic commitment to investing uh, in communities right around Australia. Now, this is a budget for real people in real communities doing it tough. It's about investing uh, in those people and those communities and those local economies. Now, if we want a strong national economy, we need to make sure that important local commu communities and economies like the north coast of New South Wales are supported, and you'll see that in the budget. Tom. You said before that inflation is a priority but not the sole priority going into this budget. Why not, given the cost of living pressures facing households? So if is inflation the ultimate test of this budget, the impact it has over well, I've said a number of times that the primary focus of the budget is this inflation fight and helping people with the cost of living. That is the primary focus, uh, overwhelmingly, of the budget, especially in the near term, uh, when those inflationary pressures are most uh, acute. Uh, we are asked to strike a series of fine balances in this budget, uh, primarily cost of living uh, and fighting inflation, but also making sure that we're strengthening Medicare and building more homes, uh, in, uh, reforming our universities and strengthening our skills base. There are a number of tasks in this budget, but none are more important uh, than the inflation fight and easing the cost of living. What you'll see in the budget and in the forecast is, the, is this budget will be part of the solution to inflation rather than part of the problem. The budget will put downward pressure on inflation, not upward pressure on inflation. Energy bill relief and rent relief for people who are already on Centrelink payments. There are so many Aussies that are doing it tough, but they're not at that level. 
um, are you doing enough for those people that might not be at the bottom? Yeah, what, close? what you'll see in the budget tonight is help for everyone uh, to make ends meet. But not $37 a week. Not the, not the tax break. What, what else might be in there? I encourage you to have a very careful look at the cost of living package uh, that's in the budget. There are some assumptions about that cost of living package uh, which may or may not uh, turn out to be right. Uh, I encourage you to check it out. More importantly, uh, I say to the Australian people, uh, we know that you're doing it tough. Uh, more help is on the way in the budget. Uh, that cost of living relief will be substantial, but it will be responsible. And in this budget, the people of Australia, all of the people of Australia, will be front and centre. Thanks very much. Thank you.